In this video, we're going to see how to create map charts in Microsoft Excel using its basic functionality. Basic map charts in Excel can represent two variables. Now, there's various kinds of charts that are suitable when you have two variables, but map charts are specialized where one variable is a geographic indication. Here I'm calling it an x-axis variable, but, but that's not actually true. A geographic indication is both x and y-axis. Um, and the other variable that is expressed is either nominal, that's a qualitative variable, or numeric. Uh, unfortunately, in base Microsoft Excel, at least as of 2022, uh, the map is limited in that it can only represent two variables, one of which is geographic, a geographic name, uh, place name, and the second being either nominal or numeric variable. If you want uh, to express more variables using Excel maps, you'd need to use the free uh, 3D map extension uh, in Excel, but this video does not cover it. It only uh, represents the basic functionality for uh, the map that is built into Excel. Now, we've been doing a lot of visualization on customer country, but a country is a geographic location. So it's very useful to be able to portray geographic uh, data actually on a map. And so the most recent, uh, well, actually Excel for a while has had the power map and now they have 3D map for some very advanced uh, mapping functionality, uh, but it's kind of uh, compl complex, yet it can meet some special needs. Uh, but in the most recent versions, they now have a much simpler mapping function, which is just a, 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 called a field map, where you can take a map and put one type of data on it. So the geography is one uh, data field and the map is another. Uh, there's um, a little bit of a challenge here, because here if we want to see sales by country, that the data here is not sales total sales by country, it's just sales by transaction by country. So we want to use a pivot table. So I'll here create a pivot table to uh, portray that data. And I think I already have sales by country. Okay, so like here I already have uh, sales uh, by country. So I go ahead and copy that. Then if you choose a map for the option uh, for the you see this error message that unfortunately maps do not work on pivot uh, table data in Excel. It does not work that way. And yet the pivot table data has exactly the data that we want for the map. It has the summaries of, uh, well, actually, this is not the summaries. I mean, is it? Okay, I want here, yes, here, I want the profits. I want sum of profits, not sum of sales. That's what I want. This is the data I want. So whenever, and you will have some charts that the pivot table got exactly the data you want, but the chart doesn't work. So when you have that situation, all you have to do is copy the data. Okay, but actually not all the data. Do not copy the grand totals, just the data itself. Just copy and can paste it right next to it. So here, I didn't paste, I didn't copy the entire pivot table. I just copied the data from it. And this is the data we want to plot. And now I can rename it country and profits. And now with that data, that is in the format that should work with the map.
Okay, there it is. Um, down. Okay. Uh, the first time you do this, it will actually ask you for permission because it take it takes the data, sends it out to Bing, to Bing Maps, to validate the data and to get the data that it needs. So I think uh, it just needed a moment to connect. So it, it has to connect to the internet to create this kind of map. And it has to get your uh, permission to send your data to the internet, verify the data, and, and send the map data. Okay, so that's uh, so that plots the data on a map, which is uh, very useful. This is a much more I think convenient way to look at the national data. But there's a few things that we can um, still adapt. In particular, here it gives the range of profits from minus 22,000 to up to 23,000. But it, it's uh, that seems like an odd way to just show a, a, a clear range. Because as if it doesn't make it clear that these minus values are really bad. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, the issue here is that we want to show when you have data values that are not just a direct range, but there are bad values, there's middle and then there's positive, or negative, zero to positive, then you want to color it differently. So uh, if you click on data, let's uh, format the data series. Okay, the series profit. And uh, we want to format the series here. We want to change the series color. Okay, so not the color of one point, but the series color. And here, by default, it's a sequential uh, color sequence. But what we want is a diverging sequence with three colors. And with three colors, you can specify a negative value color, a zero value, and a positive value color. So um, the minimum lowest value, we can make that red. Then a midpoint color, you usually want a neutral color, something that's close to zero to white. But here, let's make it this really light uh, yellow. Or so I make mine yellow, kind of a midway color there. And then you know that blues, greens to yellow are positive, but then yellow to orange to red are negative values. Uh, there's just a little bug here. Uh, for some reason, when I make that change, it colors all the invalid data blue. And just uh, the way I found to work around that, that if you go on the menu, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yes, on the menu, in the ribbon chart design, you have some default chart styles. If you just click on any other style and then back to the one you have, then it sets up the invalid data uh, back as gray. Okay, and then that takes care of that. Okay, so now we, I don't know, the only thing to me that yellow is kind of harsh. Let me try to make that a softer color. Well, actually, I could click on a color wheel. Okay, I think that's, yeah, that looks better to me. Okay. Now, uh, charts are pretty versatile, but uh, let, let me just show you. It, um, Suppose you have this data. So this data is not in the file, but just some data I have on the side. Suppose you want to chart uh, some data in France. Like here I have some regions of France, Ile de France, uh, Nouvelle Aquitaine, uh, and Grand Est, uh, with sales values. I want to chart that with a map. So let's um, chart that. So here, just like uh, generic, uh, I mean, any. Uh, map data. 
So here, okay, it recognizes, well, no, it doesn't recognize anything. It doesn't recognize that at all. It just has the numbers, but it doesn't actually recognize these places. So if you have geographic places that are not recognized by default, what you need to do is tell uh, Excel that these are geographic locations so that they will know how to interpret it as a map. And here, yeah, it tells there's a problem getting information from the map charts. I can make sure you, uh, maybe I have a connection problem at the same time. But it doesn't recognize them anyways. So to make that change, what you need to do is select the data, not, not the title, but just the data itself. So here I, I think it kind of recognizes Ile de France, but not the others. And so it tells me that, that we plotted 33% of the locations, but it couldn't identify the others. Okay, so select the location data. We go to the data tab. And there's a special data types option, which uh, uses uh, Bing information along with some artificial intelligence to try to recognize different kind of specialized domain of names. And here we want to tell it that these are geographic names. And when you select that, boom, it now recognizes, basically using uh, some artificial intelligence, it's, boom, it's Bing data sets, it can now recognize where those geographic locations are and it can plot them correctly. Okay? So it's actually quite versatile. Uh, I, uh, one other thing I'm not showing you, it can plot not only numbers, it can also plot numeric cate uh, sorry, nominal categories well, and give them different colors. So, But it can only do one variable at a time. But it, it, it's uh, quite useful for a lot of things. Okay, so that's uh, the map. So there's information about getting to recognize uh, other areas.